Hey everyone, Sam Taylor, Cancer Cure Bus, recording from the MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. So a couple days before my surgical procedure, I had a consult with Dr. Jeffrey Weinberg, who's a doctor on staff here, neurosurgeon on staff here at MD Anderson. But not only is he a neurosurgeon on staff, it turns out he actually is the best because as I talk to people here and they ask who was doing my, my surgery, I mentioned Jeffrey Weinberg. And every single person here at MD Anderson said, you got the best, you got the best. And so I feel like, well, okay, in my view, if MD Anderson Cancer Center is the best cancer center in the world, and I got the best neurosurgeon at MD Anderson, well, it looks like I got the best neurosurgeon in the world to do my procedure. So how blessed is that? Another one of those tender mercies, little, little miracles. So this episode is episode 17, the options and the risks. So I sat down with Dr. Weinberg and he said, now with this tumor, Based on the location of the tumor, there presents some risk in terms of you know, the approach. There are two different options that we have. And he explained to me, typically as a, as a surgeon with any kind of tumor, what you'd like to do is, is remove the entire tumor because that's what surgeons do. You want to cut it out, get as much of the tumor as possible. That's the goal. My tumor, however, unfortunately, is located in the center of my brain, in the thalamus area, right next to the brain stem, near a lot of really important stuff. And so b based on the location, it makes uh, surgi surgically removing it risky and the, you know there's some risk. So he laid it out for me. He said, ideally, as a surgeon, we like to go in and surgically remove the tumor. Uh, the problem is the location and the risk is where the tumor is located. It's right against this nerve bundle. He showed me the MRI and there's, he showed me there's a nerve bundle that it was right up against this nerve package, nerve bundle. He says, this nerve bundle controls your whole left side movement. So the risk is if I just, just nick this by the littlest amount, you could be left paralyzed on your left side. And I said, okay, I, I don't like the sound of that risk. And he said, Sam, I'm looking at a guy that was playing beach volleyball two weeks ago. I'm not gonna take that risk. I said, good, I don't want you to take that risk because for what I feel like I need to do in life, I'm gonna need mobility. I, I can't be paralyzed on my left side. I need to be able to speak and, and move. And so what's the other option? And he said, the other option that we have is this technique, this laser thermal ablation. And for my type of tumor, that's the least risky approach. You can still remove a lot of the tumor, maybe not as much as through surgery, but you don't risk doing damage to the healthy parts of the brain that could lead to things like left side paralysis or other things. He described the technique. It's amazing that he said in the surgery, I'm actually in an MRI during the entire surgery. So they're looking at my brain through an MRI. Um, they put this conduit about three inches in the middle of my brain. They run the laser through and they slowly but surely from the inside out, they go into the center of the tumor. And from the inside out, they start killing the tumor cells through heat, through this laser. And they can see it on the MRI and they just slowly but surely keep expanding, expanding, expanding out to the edges of the tumor to as close as they can get to the edge without then hitting the nerve bundle or other important things. So I'm just grateful for, uh, well, for a lot of things. Again, those tender mercies to be able to get a neurosurgeon as qualified and capable and you know best in class as, as Dr. Jeffrey Weinberg was one of those miracles. And for him to give a long, hard thought in terms of what the best approach for me would be. And we both reached agreement and I had confirmation. I felt very good about it. My wife was there with me. Uh, my sweet wife Stephanie was there for that whole conversation. We both felt good. We looked at each other. We said, yes, this is absolutely the way to go um, because we did not want to take any uh, undue risks um, that were unnecessary. We felt very good about the, the laser thermal ablation approach. So with that, we prepared for the actual uh, surgery that was going to be in the next day or two. Message to all, all those cancer warriors. Again, keep your faith strong. Keep your faith. Stay strong. You will find peace and you will emerge victorious. Thanks. We'll see you next time.